Maiden speech. Julie Marson. Thank you very much, Mr Deputy Speaker. It is a very special moment to give my maiden speech exactly 100 years after Lady Astor made hers. I would like, first and foremost, to thank the people of Hartford and Stortford for the huge trust and great responsibility they have given me, putting me here to serve them. It is truly the honour of my life. It is also a huge pleasure to be able to pay tribute to my predecessor, Mark Prisk. Mm -hmm. Mark Prisk was a dedicated Member of Parliament, a great public servant, who represented constituency and country with diligence and dignity for 18 years. He served in government as Business and Enterprise Minister and Minister for Housing, and was our trade envoy to the Nordic and Baltic nations and Brazil. He was also a stalwart of the Parliamentary Choir, one achievement that fortunately for anyone who appreciates music, I will not be trying to emulate. <laughs> Mark will be missed in the constituency and in this place, and I'm sure the whole House will join me in wishing him and Leslie all the very best in the future. Yeah, yeah. I'm incredibly privileged to represent Hartford and Stortford, a mix of beautiful countryside and market towns and villages, a special place which manages both to be ancient yet contemporary, vibrant yet tranquil, traditional yet progressive, and which has a deep, deep sense of community. We have historic Hartford, whose castle once hosted our very own Parliament in 1563, when London was seized by plague, and which boasts the country's largest and unquestionably most magnificent toothbrush collection. <laughs> Beautiful Bishop Stortford is an ancient staging post and centre of agriculture and beer making. Wonderful Ware is a famed coaching town and home of the eponymous Great Bed of Ware, one of the V&A's greatest treasures and big enough reputedly for, to accommodate at least four couples. And not to forget stunning Sawbridgeworth, mentioned in the Doomsday Book and once home to Anne Boleyn. With great transport links to London and thanks to nearby Stansted Airport, the world, we are an integral part of the London Stansted Cambridge Corridor, bursting with talent and creativity, home to the globally renowned Henry Moore Foundation and successful businesses large and small. But in the beautiful words of Rudyard Kipling, our England is a garden and such gardens are not made by singing, oh how beautiful, and sitting in the shade. We must work to preserve what we cherish, and I will be a strong voice for our farmers and our rural heartland, and for the residents of our towns and villages who are experiencing and facing unprecedented, unprecedented development. I am adamant that if we must build, we must build beautifully. We must build in an environmentally sustainable way, and in a way that means all my constituents continue to benefit from outstanding public services and infrastructure. This responsibility I undertake proudly and with a certain sense of wonderment because my family has made a journey from workhouse to this place. My great-grandmother was born in a workhouse. My granddad was a docker in the East End of London. My dad, a policeman. I went to a grammar school and became the first member of my family to go to university when I won a place to read history at Cambridge. My parents are my inspiration. <clears throat> I know they're proud of me, but I don't know if they know how proud I am of them yeah. and how yeah. very grateful. Yeah. Yeah. So if you indulge me, Mr Deputy Speaker, thank you, Ivan Ford. Thank you, Mary Ford. Now you're in Hansard forever, and that's my tribute <laughs> to you. <laughs> I would also like to thank from the bottom of my heart my lovely husband Chris and my wonderful son Matthew because without their love and support I couldn't do any of this. I am the proud daughter of a policeman, a policeman who was on duty during the coronation procession, who was outside the Iranian embassy when the SAS burst in and who has his own bravery award. So it is a particular pleasure to speak in this debate. It will come as a surprise to absolutely nobody that I greatly welcome the government's commitments to the police numbers and funding, and in particular, 
the 15.9 million additional funding for Hertfordshire Police. I know from experience that our police officers face challenges and dangers that most of us cannot begin to imagine, and they need and deserve our support. One of my first priorities as the Member of Parliament was the restoration of a police station in Ware, and I am delighted that this is going to happen. It's great news for our wonderful local police and for our local residents. After a 17-year career in finance and business, I took a career break to look after my son, and during that time I served as a magistrate. On my very first day, a boy walked in, making his first ever appearance in an adult court. He was 18, but he was tiny, as he had been malnourished since he was a baby. And he was grey and haggard, as he had regularly been given heroin by his parents to keep him quiet at night. And of course, by then, he was himself a drug addict. He changed me, and he inspired me. I am here to make a difference to people like him, the boy whose name I don't remember, but whose face I can't forget. I want to be a champion for social impact bonds. I've seen them in action, and I know that they can change lives, getting young people into work and education, getting people off the streets, improving children's social care. In Hartford and Stortford, we have a strong Quaker history with a tradition of philanthropy and belief in our communities. Social impact bonds honour that tradition. I believe that capitalism is a force for good and that businesses across our nation want to and do contribute to the communities of which they are a part. We can harness that force whilst at the same time empowering the families, communities, charities and social networks that make up civil society, what Edmund Burke called the little platoons, to enable them to help themselves and to help each other. This is just one of many things I'd like to do whilst I'm here, and I have things to say about a lot of other things. <laughs> but if I can make even a small contribution to my wonderful constituency and our great country, my time in this place will be well spent. Thank you, Mr. Yeah. Yeah.